guess what? We are back. I'm back. We are back at Port Natal. Yeah, in Durban, South Africa. We're going to be concentrating on three ships today. But the main one we're going to be concentrating on is the J.R. Moore. Plus the Ulundi and the one that is looking grey. If you look at it there, it looks like a Navy ship. It's called the SAS Durban. All these ships were around the 1960 mark, as old as hell. And we're going to be looking at them and exploring them today together. Guys, we did get permission, so let's give these people a shout out just for helping us and now allowing us to go out there and do the investigation. So all I want to say to you guys is don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I love you all and I appreciate you all. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah, guys, so this is the engine room of the boat, and these guys are actually allowing us to come in. I ask permission if we can come here and just have a look. That's all. Look how awesome this place is. Sheesh, and it's old and it's beautiful. And yeah, we got some permission. You know, sometimes you just got to ask permission from people instead of stealing and stuff. Just looking. Kids with me again. Look at this huge engine. This boat is actually rotting and falling away. And uh, so they don't want us going in to it. like pistons or something so this huge boat is going in on it and uh, yeah <sighs> she's beautiful they don't want to let us in on it but uh, yeah that's it Huh? Yeah, it's old. If you look at it, it's breaking apart, rusted, finished. But well, look at the ocean, so what do you expect? You know? But they're maintaining it. I mean, it's beautiful, bro. It's been standing for how many years? Just look at it. Sheesh. Just look at that guys so if I'm shaking the camera a bit much I'm sorry about it but uh, yeah they're allowing us to actually come and film here yeah? and uh, if you look at the ship they won't allow us on top because they were saying that there's huge holes in the ship and uh, so they don't want us if you look there and there So that's why they don't want to allow us to go into it. So they don't want to allow us to go into it. They say it's but it's not it's not safe. But usually before they used to allow people to go into it. And uh, yeah, like I told you all, I'm here to give you all not only the paranormal. Remember, it's also about adventure, guys. I'll show you beauty and how beautiful this place is. I found this place on Facebook actually. 
that's the name of the ship. Yeah, guys, so if you look there, there's a grey boat that you're looking at there. So that is an old navy boat. And uh, they're saying to us that they're not allowing us to go into that one because it's actually sinking. This is like an old ship if you look at it. We're going. Wow, some stairs here. Yeah, as I was saying, I got a K2 meter with me. Uh, we'll have a look-see as we go. Remember, we're also looking for paranormal as well. You know that I told you guys. So, yeah. This place is huge. It's a huge ship. Remember, they said that we're allowed to go. Have a look, but that's about all that we can do. Let's have a look. phone guys unfortunately I didn't want to people don't want to be looking around too much with stuff you can see some fish down there that's the navy vessel old navy vessel so yeah that's the point. just look at that just look at that check that out oh that's awesome 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 uh, there is some activity, weird stuff going on here at night. Remember, I told you all, here in South Africa, paranormal, very, 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 very forbidden topic. Nobody likes to talk about. So, we'll take it all at its step at a time. I'll show you guys around. That's your city, Durban, there. Yeah? So they say to us that we're not allowed to go on to this boat. I mean, if you look at it, she is... Okay, let's concentrate on one. Maybe you guys want to see this one first. I don't know. But, yeah. So, that's your little engine there. Hello! Yep. That's down there. You know, I've always wanted to work on a ship <laughs> or even be on a ship. Guys, K2 is spiking like crazy. Check this out. And this is not me. There's no electricity whatsoever here, so. K2 is spiking. Check this ship. It's rotten. So that's why they're saying to us they don't want to allow us onto the ship because she's saying they're saying that it's really bad. I'll try my best to get you as close as I can. If there's wind noise, guys, I apologize. Apologize, squeezing through. Oh. Yeah. So it's really rotten. Really bad. into every room as much as I can I'll try yeah. 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 
looks like was a little locker room place of storage or something. Anything here in the cage too? Nothing. Whoa! <laughs> Check that out. I'm trying to get you at night and um, they say no, it's safety reasons and things like that. Like I told you guys, this is South Africa. Remember, I'm also coming here and doing checks out here as well to see if there's any activity. I mean, there's no point if we keep going to places people are keep promising us activity and then we get all the way there and then we get nothing that's for the anchor room looks like Check that out. tell me that's not creepy Everything's old as fuck. Just look at the size of those wrenches. Oh. Check the K2 out. I go now guys I'll go with you I'll show you they, as they said there was no electricity and things in here hey. okay that's the if you want to see what's all about here it is the compartments so yeah. we'll try and stay away this big Pause here, yeah, we'll just try and stay away from them. They were very kind enough to let us come through the management here in this place. This is run by the municipality of the of the of Durban. We'll try and move away from the people try and go into every room. That was just a shower place. It's like it was a captain's quarters. Or maybe one of the other guys' quarters, I don't know. Some food there. engineer he lived there so yeah that's um, what his quarters look like wow. so it looks like there is people down there it looks like we can't go down but I'll stay away from them for now yeah, that's their quarters Officer Salim. Wow. All this phone communication thingy. And 
guys check this out k2 is going crazy out here what we'll do we'll try to come in here just now and do a spirit box just waiting for people to leave you guys want to see the read all of that I'll come up with those I think that's the name of the ship Charmo Center system sister tab spiking like crazy check that out I'm not doing anything check that out check that out check that if there's anything here touch that if you touch that it'll light up touch it check the activity out tell me now that's not active and I'm not doing nothing there is nothing that takes uh, nothing this is why I want to come to places like this because places like this are old and then there's a lot of stuff that's why I say here in South Africa there's a lot of stuff that's been undocumented and stuff just 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 I'm trying to get you at night. Just Whoa. it's like a safe door. Guys, so far, okay, there's another ship. You can see it's actually sinking. That's what they said. That's why they don't want us on it because they say it's sinking. And uh, check it out. Check that out. Sorry about that, guys. As you can see, that ship is sinking there. I've been getting, uh, I do run a business during the day, so. Sometimes I do get calls for tires and stuff. Remember, I do second-hand tires, new tires, things like that. So, this has a lot of activity, guys. There's nothing here whatsoever. And if you check that out, we're getting activity like crazy. Check that out. That's Durban Harbor one of the biggest harbors here in South Africa imports and exports we've got everything so yeah oh how many anchors does this thing have two shit Go up to the engine, I mean to the other cabin. Remember, we're going to be going around the ship completely. I want to check it out. I don't know. And I'm sharing this experience with you guys. Okay. Let's go down. Oh. Everything I got, you guys are going to experience. Oh, this is probably the sleeping quarters. <laughs> Their lockers. Okay. The 
let's check the place out and I will do a spirit box down here because no one, nobody's gonna come down here. Whoa, we got activity guys, serious activity. So if it's dark, just bear with me. I haven't come with any torches or anything. Check the gates out, guys. Gates was going nuts. Check this place is rotten, dude. It's awesome. a backpack. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. This is the kitchen. <laughs> That's where they used to cook and stuff. Lifeboats. So, these were your lifeboats. Do you know how much activity we're getting here, dude, on the K2, guys? Whoa. It's a beautiful place. I mean, this place to sit there, you can see. There's a little place down there where they got a whole lot of items that they found from sunken ships. We'll go through there later. But I'm here to show you. And to share this experience with you guys. And we share it together. I told you I'll be doing my own videos. And uh about the wind again guys <laughs> we gotta check every place out on this ship This looks like the captain's quarters. I mean, it's where he probably used to chill. Eat uh, something to eat. Check there. His coffee, little telephone thingy. He 
if you want to read that, I will. You can see on what's. Master Office, please knock. Hello, anybody here? If you hear, this looks like the radio room. Oh, how awesome is that? You can come touch my device. Let me know that you're here. This device, if you come in touch, it will light up. So let me know that you're here. Yeah, I think, guys, that's the name of the ship, SM Moore. We'll do some research on it and see exactly what the SM Moore was, really. I just saw this place on Facebook and I thought, oh, this will be awesome for you guys to show you and share that experience. I've never been here in my life. So, see? Radio. Doing this together, guys. Ropes and stuff. I'm going to try and get under the ship. There's that uh, room down there at the bottom, it's so tight, the squeeze to get in, and I'm a big dude, so, I didn't say fat dude, by the way, I said big dude, so, oh, how awesome is this? Awesome this would be guys. Whoa. Check that out. Whoa. There's Keith down there. That's Keith. Down there somewhere. That's what he's doing. I don't know. He's checking the place out. Alright, Captain Isaac, hitting the ship, can't you see that? What you say guys? How do I look? Awesome? <laughs> now, but on a serious note, yeah, that's your gauges, that's your rudder steer, or whatever it is we call it. Awesome as this. Can you imagine? We at sea right now. Beautiful day like this. And we're just cruising the coast. Just cruising the coast. Okay. K2 still going crazy. Check that out. By the way, the phone is on aeroplane mode. I've changed it. I put it on aeroplane mode. So, yeah. There you go. I'll be still getting activity. Check that out. Check that out. Whoa. I'm not going to walk there. But, uh, yeah. See. 
can see the water down there guys is actually coming on the bridge. That's why they don't want us but That's why I wanted to share this experience with you. And we can do this together. Okay. This looks like the radio room, lifeboats. Some kind of radio or something, you know, communication device. Check that out. That's awesome. If any of you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments below. A DF receiver. Hey guys, I'm on this ship again, like I said, yeah, yeah, I want to share that whole experience with you guys. What I'm going to do right now, let's do a spirit box. I got the K2 meter with me, it's been spiking like crazy. I'm on the deck of this ship, right? So, um, what do you call it, at the deck, um, where all the instruments are, I can't, yeah. But anyway, I'm here, I've got the thing, we're going to try a spirit box, we're going to try microphonic. Got the microphone here with me. I'm gonna try it out. And guess what? It's actually working for a change. Last night when we went to the other house and we did an investigation, everything was failing. Nothing seemed to work. So that's why I said I would like to try a box here because I've been mean, getting activity like crazy. So let's share this together. No. I don't want to piss people off and scare people away. Um, so, guys, just bear with me. We're doing this together. We're going to share this experience. Is there anybody here with me? What is your name? Bob. What is your name? What is your name? You can speak to me, I'm here to, to hear your voice. Tell us, tell us who you are. How many spirits are here with me? How many? <laughs> speak or for two. Speak two. What is your name then? Identify yourselves. Ident identify yourselves. Who are you? Check this out, guys. Who are you? Hey. Whenever you watch my videos, right, and I do a spirit box, always notice one thing. There's always a name Ian that comes out. Ian. And I want you guys to go out there and check up the Hebrew meaning of Ian. Right? Remember? Remember? The Christian. I'm Christian. So, I follow Christ. And, um, so I, everything you know, guy, you know, I don't bullshit. I tell you as it is. 
You can serve who you want. No judgment here. Yeah. I, I got no judgment, guy. You serve who you like. Um, Wayne that was with me last night when we did the video, he's a practicing witch. And, uh, I mean, I, I got no issue with who you serve and things like that. That's nothing to do with me. My job is to give you guys entertainment. I bring me and just show you guys the beauty of Durban and then also bring you different content. I mean, I don't want to be giving you guys the same boring stuff like every person. I mean, well, what everybody else is giving you. I want to give you something different. I want to give you what I give you, you know? And um, I just want to say thank you for all of you guys that shared this experience with me and for being with me throughout all this, I mean, over the years. So guys, thank you and I love you and I appreciate all of you. night could come here to a spot box and then I guarantee we'll catch activity here yeah? there's no way that we won't get anything no way that's where I want to try and get down there Big dude, and I'm trying to get down. Oh, okay, I'm down. Check that out. Place. Let me grab my bag. Maybe, you know, this is South Africa at the end of the day. And I can't leave anything over there. Okay, guys. So you want to go down there? tight squeeze guys so I gotta squeeze a lot of places to show you what this place actually looks like there's another level down there I'm gonna take you down okay yeah This one. Whoa. We haven't been in here. Whoa. Looks like we can steer the ship from another angle. Guys, remember, you have to squeeze yourself into these places. Oh. In the water. Check that out. Looks like you can steer the ship from this angle now. Um, no, how do they check where you're going? Yeah, no, that's the thing. So it's closed. It's closed, so you can see from there. So what do you see? I don't know. Radar? Do they even have radar here at that time? 
I don't know. Because this seems to be the place we're there. Yeah, talking, you can speak into it. You speak into there. And then where it goes to. Hello, yeah. hello. So we will talk to them. So and then where it's going to. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's probably these guys. I didn't even know there was another section to it. Guys, just check this out. This is what the place looks like. Let me... Um, it's just a bunch of like... There. We're gonna go down there, kid. But let's check it out. I'll show you guys. There's another whole thing down here. Whoa. Guys, check this out. Wow. They got their fire equipment there. Their hoses running. By the way, speaking of firefighters, did you know your boy is a firefighter? Full qualified, internationally accredited firefighter. Oh yes, that's what I am. So yeah, um, I used to run in a lot of fire crews there in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Qatar. Yeah, in South Africa I ran as well, so yeah, fully qualified firefighter guys. So yeah, let's continue this adventure. As you guys go along, you'll learn more and more about me. We'll share together. So, everything we'll share together. Exploring. And we will explore together different places that we're not meant to go. But uh, also safety first, guys. Safety first. These people. Oh, yes, by the way, that ship, that uh, the grey one where it's sinking, um, was built in 1960. So yeah, you do the math. That's how old it is. Doesn't feel. I try my best to get away from the kids that are here. A lot of you guys ask why, why, why are we guys. Most of us YouTubers like reusing hats is because of places like this where you don't hit your head on. So yeah. Check that out. Getting weird noises down here. 
there's some water down there as well. Guys, the lighting is not so good. But yeah, I told you. I'm gonna go down here. Maybe couldn't get down. Yeah, there's this place. This is the boiler room. This is the boilers. There's like what? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Let's check. I didn't have my torch with me. I didn't know that we had be. A very really dark place. Can you hear that? Kate, we're not getting anything at the moment. So upstairs, yes, but down here, no. It looks like a. So, I showed you, I'll share with you guys. That's where we were, if you remember. We were walking up there and we came as far as there. Yeah. There's a lot of weird levers here. I don't know what that is. But It's a really cool video guys. Still nothing on the K2. And upstairs it's spiking like crazy. But there's a lot of wind there for some reason. All I do, I do for us. I hope you like this adventure. A little bit of a difference. Getting paranormal, paranormal, paranormal. But I did get activity on the K2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get one um, here at night maybe, we'll try and then we'll see what we can. If we can, then yeah, but remember, respectful, respectful and do things perfectly that they will enjoy as well. You know what I mean? That way no one's getting into trouble, everybody's understanding each other. I mean, people are starting to be open-minded now. So yeah, let's take it from there, let's see what we get, and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you for, for being here, part of this adventure, guys, and for being a part of Double Paranormal. I love you all. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Remember, the more you hit the like button, the more the YouTube realizes that we need to spread the word about Double Paranormal. And trust me, I keep bringing you guys perfect content and bringing you other content. There's another ship that I'd like to check out as well. That ship's been in this place called Ushaka Marine. I've been promised you guys for a while that I'll take you out there. I'm gonna try and get out there right now. The thing is, I don't wanna go really much out there right now because it's very busy, it's a tourist attraction. There's a lot of people out there as well. And it will be out there a lot of people. But you know what, I'll do it for you. I'll show you guys, let's see what we catch. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, Double Paranormal for life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,